they are stones they are under kinds eager vivors as you know grammar is a master key to communication grammar is the golden path to our language i am telling that many years ago teachers were teaching the students in a method that is called deductive method of teaching grammar that means teachers were going to the class and telling the rules suppose one teacher has to teach passive voice passive voice voices as he calls it they are telling the rules for example for instance uh dear students you see in a sentence that is i eat rice there are three words i eat rice i is the subject it is the verb and rice is the object so in passivizing this sentence the object that is rice is to be brought to the front position so rice can then is eaten by me something like that first they were teaching the rules then they were starting the examples then something 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 so many scholars researchers found that this is not the absolute or concrete or perfect way of teaching grammar to the students then came a system that is called noticing or inductive method of teaching grammar suppose i am telling first the teachers who are going to do the class in this pattern of inductive method of teaching grammar they are going writing one sentence without opening their mouth only one sentence is there suppose i am telling i dash within bracket go goes they wrote the answer without explaining anything without explaining the rules i go then secondly wrote i dash play plays students out of 40 students 35 students 38 students follow that go has no ascending so play has no ascending so you just remember that inductive method of for teaching grammar is the best method of teaching so i am going in this video i have shown very brilliant exercises suppose one example i am telling uh, <clears throat> suppose a uh, frame a sentence in order to inculcate inquisition interest and enthusiasm in the minds so form a word that is your adjective plus preposition is equal to what suppose one example i am telling that plus her that is the adjective her is the, her is the pronoun so adjective plus pronoun that is father then you can form noun plus verb noun plus preposition preposition plus noun something what will happen that uh, uh, your enthusiasm will in in case and after that you will learn more more things uh, you just uh, remember what i am teaching so uh, i am now i am teaching you on the board brilliant examples so you just give your attention to it dear students already just try to follow the examples samples suppose i wrote mango i'll tell to write a similar word you have to write up apple because of the same category that is fruit so you come to the board that is uh, uh, as i have told deductive method is outdated obsolete that is inductive method of teaching grammar that means noticing see understand then uh, write on the paper there are four axes of grammar so far as inductive method of teaching grammar is concerned four axes one is example number two explanation number three exercise number four expertise now let's uh, come to the example simple write down without uttering a single word in the class in front of the students simple write down is eating rice that means you are going to teach them voice sounds voice sounds only write voice only write his eating rice never say anything 
बिकॉज यू आर जस्ट गिविंग एग्जाम्पल्स नेवर से दिस इज सब्जेक्ट दिस इज भॉर दिस इज मैन भॉर दिस इज ऑब्जेक्ट ओनली सिंपल इज इटिंग राइस एंड यू कैन आस्क देम और मे नॉट आस्क देम वॉट इज द आंसर दे मे आंसर दे मे नॉट आंसर सो सिंपल राइट डाउन द आंसर राइस इज बींग इटेन बाय मी नाउ राइट अनदर सेंटेंस ऑफ दिस पैटर्न दैट इज प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस ही इज प्लेइंग बॉल and ask the students there are 30 students suppose in the class you see how many students are following the examples what example i am giving example so if students do this it's better if they do not do it's no harm also then try to explain explanation then you tell them now this is he is the subject rice is the object is it is the verb this is the auxiliary verb helping verb this is the main verb after verb always your object comes so in passive voicing in changing into passive voice that object or rice comes to the front person that came then is came down so it is means e plus ing always ing becomes being a third person third form past past perfect past participle that is eaten then uh, ball is ing being played ball is being played by him so after doing doing this uh, you go to the exercise you give some 10 or 5 questions of similar pattern he is eating rice he is teaching english he is writing hindi uh, he is selling vegetables then you see 100% the students will do the answers then what will happen they will develop their expertise when this present continuous voice sense is complete then come to another form suppose present simple uh, suppose you write here i eat rice simple write the answer rice is eaten by me write the answer then you write i play ball you tell the students to do the answer ball is played by me then you just teach them your play is equal to play is equal to do plus play you always remember for do we have to write is play becomes played so for do we do and does we use is for did that is was you remember four axes of grammar and inductive method never tell the rules first suppose uh, one second i'm telling you uh, you give them the example and tell the students find out the rules this is a good purpose you just write them down then i am giving uh, other uh, examples hello uh, i have written here on approach apart from that uh, noticing or inductive method of teaching grammar that is uh, my own um, concussion creation that is top down bottom approach or bottom down top approach suppose in a class uh, in terms of their uh, syllabus or curriculum or the procedure a student has to weigh 10 kilos let us say 10 kilos suppose eighth class 10 kilos one has to weigh uh so what to do a teacher has to start from 5 kilos 5 kilos 6 kilos 7 kilos 8 kilos 9 kilos and 10 then uh, the teacher has to reach up to 15 kilos so this is the beginning 5 kilos necessary 10 kilos climax climax is your 15 kilos so start from 5 kilos suppose similarly suppose in a 10th class one uh, student have to weigh suppose 30 kilos kilos one uh, the teacher has to start from 25 up to he has to come to body place so start from bottom uh, top then down then uh, you come down uh, top down approach or we can we can call it as like this we can call it better top down approach okay top down approach in the sense start from down go to the top from top come to the down start from 5 go to 15 15 come to for revision repetitions so practice will come okay let's see uh, after this 
it's absolutely right suppose i am telling one student so as to know 500 words you start from 100 200 300 400 500 you reach up to 1000 you see the miracles now what framing what framing or what formation is there you have a good practice that is uh, apart from the top down approach you come to this verb plus preposition make one word suppose when your go verb preposition art it becomes got again the students are asked to do verb plus preposition another another answer preposition plus verb preposition is in form is your verb that is in form Again, the students are to, try, are to tell that for another word that is preposition plus verb, that preposition plus noun for is preposition match noun so format. Now preposition plus noun, the students have to do this. You just write them down another four to five examples I'll give you. Top down approach, adjective plus pronoun. Fat, she's a fat boy. Fat adjective plus noun her that is father. Preposition plus, again, uh, students are to ask uh, to form another sentence using adjective plus pronoun. Preposition plus verb, that is forget, uh, your answer forget. Uh, again, they have to tell the answer preposition plus verb. In this fashion, noun plus noun, uh, verb plus noun, noun plus preposition, preposition plus pronoun. So, what will happen? Uh, things will be very easier. Once again, I am telling that is noticing formula. Follow the examples and do the answers. Now I am telling something that is I application uh, as I have prepared beforehand I application uh, application uh, I is our application so simple write down don't utter a single word ideas within the bucket go goes do the answer never tell third person similar or something like that again tell them to do ideas they will follow whether S is there if S is not there here S will not be there then he does it eats answer is given the students are to ask that. We does go goes, go is there, so again they have to do this. Then I am telling you why this happens beforehand. I am telling you S is equal to minus S. Suppose, uh, suppose, suppose uh, S is here, suppose boys is here, boys does within bracket go goes, boys has S, uh, S is equal to minus S, means S is equal to 1, uh, it takes 0, 1 is equal to 0, 0 means go, S is there. Um, goes means 1, go means 0, so it becomes go, and uh, your uh, 0 becomes 1, uh, um, 0 becomes 1, like this, uh, we have to do this, uh, practice this uh, formula, that is, S is equal to minus S is equal to S, uh, 1 is equal to 0, and 0 is equal to 1, suppose boys and dash go, S is there, S, S stands for 1, this is 0, boy, uh, dash suppose it is this is zero because no is there so it takes s means one so it is s so i think my dear students this is my own creation after studying something else uh, uh, i am doing this uh, and so be sure that if you practice all these things uh, you will develop for uh, any grammar so once again uh, you uh, 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 try to remember that uh, you follow the examples from grammar books, exercises, examples, exemplifications, things will be easier for you. And first of all, you have to develop that high rate of inquisition or enthusiasm. Once again, I am telling you in final part that our ornix area uh, controls the activities of grammar. Or uh, You can simply remember that the left side of the brain controls the activities of the gra grammar. You that is why you have to read more and more in order to strengthen that part. What will happen? Your grammar activities will be much more easier. Uh, thank you. Much as gracias. Share this video and see the miracles. Thank you.